humans fundamentally are a part of the environment and we are subject to the same impacts and influences of the natural world. Climate change will have impacts on vector-borne disease, on malnutrition, on respiratory diseases. I founded and lead the Climate Change and Health Program at the World Bank. My name is Timmy Boulay, and I graduated from Duke University School of Medicine in 2011. So what my job is here is to ensure that our health investments are sensitive to these changes in climate. We work with developing countries, ministries of finance, ministries of health, ministries of environment, to safeguard their health programming. For example, in Madagascar, we set up a program to ensure that the health systems and health infrastructure is resilient and adaptive to climate change. There are going to be more storms in Madagascar, there's going to be an increased burden of disease, there's going to be increased malnutrition, and we need to plan for that. There's about a $700 million uh, project portfolio in Madagascar, which addresses energy projects, infrastructure, health systems. Uh, and what we've done is assess these projects and try to identify interventions uh, for sustainable climate change and health outcomes. We have operations throughout East Africa and South Africa, throughout Asia and Latin America. Any country that's going to be impacted by climate change, we really need to, 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 to pull into this portfolio of investment. We've done events with Prince Charles, with the Minister of Finance and Environment in France, with the Prince of Monaco. The purpose of that is to get these people to understand and be champions and advocates for this work. I was attracted to, to Duke for a number of reasons. Compared to the other large medical schools in the country, um, they really, really bet above their weight um, because it cultivates smart, thoughtful people that need to go out into the world to understand what their unique impact could be. You know, for any young person who is looking at the costs of a medical education, um, there are concerns because it's not cheap. Particularly if one is interested in doing a non-traditional career path following medicine, there are concerns. The, the, the costs of a medical education were daunting, absolutely. The Medical Faculty Wives Scholarship um, was, was enabling. Every year we'd get our financial aid package and I would see the Medical Faculty Wives Scholarship on there, and I knew that that would alleviate my burden uh, you know, in the future, but then it was also peace of mind um, that once a year when I had to go to the financial aid office, which I always dreaded, um, but it was always nice to see that, that line item because I knew that it wasn't money that was coming out, but it was money that was coming in. But I would like to say thank you to the Medical Faculty Wives. Keep doing what you're doing. Critically important, keep selling those blankets and those clocks and you know whatever else at the thrift shop is so important. Thank you.